welcome back to my channel. We're going to start out with brows and I'm using the Anastasia Medium Brow Brow Definer Pencil. And we're just going to do some natural brows, nothing too crazy, going through them because I know that you guys like when I do include my brows. So I've been doing this lately. Um, I've also been using the dip brow, but for more of a natural brow, I like to use the brow definer. So I go through the back and the tail of the brow, and then I go in the front just a little bit like that. Do the other one really quick, and then we'll be moving on. To conceal, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm actually showing you guys a different technique for the eyes today. You guys will see um, what I do. I'm putting the Shape Tape Concealer all over my eyes. And like kind of bringing it down. You guys will see it. And I'm using a Brush Love Flat Definer to conceal the brows. But I decided to use the Shape Tape because I've seen it, like I've seen it be used as a primer. So I wanted to try it out and see what I thought. So I'm really, really putting it all the way out. And then I'm gonna set it with some translucent powder. This is Kat Von D and see how it goes. I'm using a Morphe, uh, just a blending brush for that. We're gonna start the face first because I was filming something for Live Glam and they ran late, so I had to do my face first before the eyes because the eyes were more important. So I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in tan and I'm using this Morphe foundation brush to blend it out, you guys, know that I'll have all the details of brushes and products I use down below just in case I don't say it here but I know I haven't uploaded in a little bit I've been really busy with work and stuff so I hope you guys understand so I'm just blending this out this is my favorite foundation of the summer and probably all time I'm using medium to highlight and then I'm going to use tan shape tape to contour I mean to conceal sorry guys and you can see I do this little dotting motion. I'm trying to be fancy, trying to do a little bit of art. Why not? The dot me method actually helps a lot of people, you know, for placement and stuff like that. Uh, and you don't have to be so boring with it, you know? If you're gonna do the same thing every day, why not just throw, draw some circles on your face? And some squigglies on your jawline. And why not just do it down your neck too? I was very bored. I'm using the Deep Honey uh, Clay Stick Foundation to do this. My favorite thing to contour with lately. And I'm just doing regular lines for my nose. I'm gonna use the 3D HD Blender from Sigma, my favorite blender right now. I'm just going to blend this out. And I like to mix the tan and medium shape tape concealers just because it gives me a lot better of a coverage with concealing and then it still gives me that highlight that I'm looking for. So I'm going to do underneath the contour as well, do the chin. And we are really highlighting and contouring today. Like we are really sculpting the face. As you guys can see. I'm just going back and forth. And a lot of people hate when I swipe the uh, blender but with this blender you can it, it's you're basically just bringing product back and forth so you're not really taking any product away especially with how dense this blender is now I'm just bringing the contour to my hairline and I'm going to blend out the jawline and down the neck as well I promise you it all blends out I know it looks really dark but my body is actually pretty dark, so it's actually nice to blend everything out. And I want it to be really tan, you know? You know? So now I'm blending the contour up, making sure that line is good. I like to angle the blender like that, so it's just nice and easy for me to keep that contoured look. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side, getting the hairs out of the way. I hate that. I don't know why that always happens, but it does. And now I'm just using my finger first to kind of blend out and put a little bit more concealer on the sides of the nose. And then I just kind of tap out 
the rest of the product to kind of blend it. And then I'll go back and forth with my fingers too, just to make sure everything's blended and good. For baking slash setting, I'm using the filtered light powder from Tarte. I was not happy with the way it came out. I love the smell of it. I might give it another shot, but it did give a lot of flashback even after I wiped away a lot of excess products. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it again. It's, I loved how thin it was, but it just did not look good in pictures, so. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Bronzer, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with an F23 from Sigma and just kind of bronze this a little more, just kind of blend it out, setting the contour a little bit. And then I'm using the Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love and I'm using all three colors with an F10 brush from Sigma. I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. This is a beautiful color. I, you guys know I love everything orange or peach, so that was just amazing. Okay, now we're gonna start the eyes. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna do something interesting today, something very glamorous. I'm gonna start out with this neutral caramel color. Just putting that on with a Makeup Addiction blending brush. And just, oh, I think I said blending brush there. I matched my words. And then I'm gonna take this yellow and I'm gonna go back and forth with this. This yellow was kind of frustrating me. I really wanted it to be more pigmented than it was. But, I mean, I tried to get as much pigment out of it. See, like, sometimes I like to set the eye with, you know, translucent powder, but sometimes I feel like when you don't set it, the colors can come out better. That's just my opinion. So I'm going back and forth between setting and non-setting the powders. I mean, the eyes. Now I'm going in with this dirty mustard color, going into the crease, and this is a Brush Love Crease brush. I don't think they make it anymore. I just am still obsessed with it. And I'm just gonna go back and forth in the crease and to the outer V, just kind of deepening everything. But you can see the yellow kind of showed up now. I think I used, I switched to a Morphe brush, like a more smaller, denser brush. Now I'm gonna take this red brown and go on the outsides on the outer V, connecting it into the crease as well. And just blending that out. You guys know I use a million and one colors because it just makes me happy. And I love when colors of like the same sort of tone just blend out together beautifully. That's just how I like to do my things, you know? So I'm just going to do a patting motion just to make sure I get some extra product on there. And yeah, just blending that out. Now I'm gonna use this chocolate color with the same brush and just deepening that outer V. I have some glue on my eyelashes, that's annoying. Girl, why don't you take that off? So I'm just going to pat that chocolate brown in there and bring it up to the crease. And that's the brush I was using. I wanted to show you guys real quick. And just going back and forth into the crease. But um, I don't know, I might go back to the old painterly because honestly, I feel like it just blended out better. Maybe I'll try shape tape without setting it. We'll see. Now I'm using that charcoal brown color and a flat brush. I think this is from Makeup Addiction as well to pat on some more smoky color and then put a little bit of it above the crease to kind of make sort of a cut crease. You guys will see. We're doing a half cut crease today. An E62 brush to do this. I put the shape tape on my hand and then just carve it out. This is the most amazing brush that Sigma has ever created. It just definitely helped me learn how to do a cut crease and I'm sure it can really help you guys because of the angle and the curve and the brush and it's just perfect for your eye. It's like it fits right in that area. And it's just really smooth so you get a nice precise line and it just helps me out, you know? If it helps me, probably will help you. So I'm just going to blend that out. And if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I have only been doing cut creases for a short amount of time, so I'm very happy with the progress that I've made. You know, I don't know everything, and you know, I'm still learning as an artist, and just as, as you guys are. So I hope that you guys appreciate that honesty, and uh, will continue the journey with me. 
Now I'm taking an E58 with a bronze color. This is from Sigma. I'm going to bring that shadow into the center lid, doing like the pat down and slide motion, I guess you would call it. Just making sure I stay on the concealer part so it's nice and blended out. I'm just gonna press it down and go back and forth with it. For the cut crease detail, I've been using this detail concealer brush and I've actually really loved it. It's from Sigma as well. And I'm going in with that charcoal color that we used before, the darkest color that we use, and just kind of making that crease a little bit deeper so it looks a little bit more cut, if you know what I'm saying. Sometimes, you know, a brush that's really made for a concealer, you can use it for other things. So I'm using this pink champagne, I guess, kind of color, you would, I would say. And I'm putting it on the inner corner and blending it out with that bronze gold. I wasn't crazy about this combo first, at first, but then I kind of fell in love with it, the way it blended out. I just really, really liked it. I'm just blending that back and forth just to make sure everything blends and blends and blends and blends. So now I'm going back and forth with that little detail concealer brush. Doesn't that fit like right perfectly into your crease? I just love it. And I'm just going to blend that out until I feel like it looks good. I tilt my head back and forth just to kind of see how cut the crease is and how much it's blended out. So that's why I'm like twitching like that because I like to see what it looks like when I'm looking down and when I'm looking straight. So after that, I'm going to be adding some more charcoal brown to the outer V and blend it in with the center lid. Just be really, really careful with this because you don't want to go into the shimmer too much and it'll look really messy. I'm taking that first shade with this F69 brush and I'm going on the brow bone and I haven't done a shadow on the brow bone in a long time. Usually I use just a highlighter, but I really love the shadow and the way it looked with this look. So now I'm just lining my lids with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, my favorite liner ever. And we're gonna go a little bit dramatic with the wing today. Usually I feel like I go a little bit more, not as long I feel like, but this time I really want it to be dramatic and thick in the ends. So I'm just going back and forth until I feel like I'm happy. But seriously guys, if you are learning how to do liner, I really, really recommend this as your first liquid liner to use. It just helps so much. It's so easy to learn with and it's so flexible. For mascara, we're using the Tarte Tartist mascara obviously because that's my favorite one right now. I'm just going to coat the lashes with that. I'm wiping away all of that baking powder and you guys can see that I'm kind of trying to rub it off. It was like really sticking so I don't know if I have to you know kind of take the excess off fast or what. For lashes I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes and Baby Love and look how beautiful these guys look. And I love the ends because I feel like with the wing it looks good because it's both dramatic on the ends. And I'm just popping those on. If you guys don't know, this is my lash line. I'm very, very proud of it. And yeah, I hope you guys can get a pair. Now with the short shader from Sigma, I'm taking that yellow color, which seems to be really pigmented under my eye where it was not Maybe I shouldn't have set the freaking primer, but whatever. We learn. We live and learn. Now taking Stila's Kitten Karma Magnificent Metal Glitter, I'm going to pop this on the center lid and blend this out. This is really, ugh, what an amazing freaking invention. A glitter that is not that messy and stays put. It's just beautiful. And I feel like every look that I've done recently, always needs a little bit of that glitter because it just makes everything pop. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, so sparkly. Putting it on the inner corner as well and on the lash line a little bit too. And I wanted to mix the rose gold in there too because I really liked the way that that has looked in my past looks. 
So I'm just really blending it out and putting it underneath the eye, adding some more mascara, and then we're gonna use the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette. It's just so freaking gorgeous. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful and you know, don't be scared. The purple and the pink look stunning on any skin tone. So I'm using, <laughs> I'm using the pink and the gold and I use a little bit of that cream highlighter, the first one. You guys can see the pigment is just insane. I just wanted to show you guys. Look at it on my hand. I was just obsessed, had to swatch everything. It's just, look at it, gorgeous. So here I'm with my finger, I'm just taking the cream highlighter. I forgot the name, but it's the first one. And I'm just going to blend it out with the pink and the gold one. Putting it down my nose, putting it on the cupid's bow. And the brush that I use to highlight is the Morphe M501 brush. Look how pretty. Love it. Oh. Now, Huda Beauty also came out with <laughs> some amazing liquid matte lipsticks. So I wanted to try each one. So you get a nice swatch of each one. And I feel like this look is pretty neutral enough. So you can do a loud lip, you can do a nude lip, whatever you want. So this first one is Jet Setter. And what I love about the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks is that you don't need a liner. Even if you wanna overline, I feel like I don't need a liner with these kind of colors. Super nude ones that um, I'm gonna show you later. I definitely would recommend a liner, but if you wanted to just wear these kind of colors, no liner is needed. And I just love the way it came out. It just looks so pretty. It's just a perfect peachy pink. I love the way it came out. Now I'm using Mamacita, which is a neon orange. I loved this color. I love this color very much, but I didn't like it with this look for some reason. I don't, I think it needs just a really simple liner, but the color of this lipstick is insane. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it does look good, I'm not sure. I just felt like, I don't know, maybe it did look good. Maybe I was feeling it, I don't know. Maybe I was, looks like I was. But it's just such a beautiful color. Love the neon color. And uh, maybe I did like it. Obviously I did, because I would not be posing if I didn't. Now I'm using Wild Child. And this is a more coral color, neon again. Super pigmented. And what I have to say too about these liquid lipsticks is that they are not that drying. Um, the Kylie ones have been really drying for me lately, but these have not been, so it's a nice surprise. And again, you can overline, no liner, it's perfect. I just love it. This is the one I actually kept on for pictures because I felt like, why not have a pop of color? This one is Bikini Babe and this one literally matched my skin. It's a beautiful color, not good for my skin tone without a liner, so I'll show you guys what it looks like by itself. And then I'm going to add a liner because it just wasn't working. Beautiful color nonetheless, just not for my skin tone. So to make it work, I put on True Brown K by Kylie. Um, another, you know, dupe you can use is Chestnut by MAC to use any kind of nude lip and make it blend, especially if you are on the darker side in skin tone. And I just kind of blend it with my finger and create like a really nice ombre kind of look. So the white kind of nudes I love, but you know, you gotta just work a little bit harder with some liner and just make sure it blends out. So that's it, setting with Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray, and yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope you have liked this tutorial. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I actually might have a haul coming up for you guys, doing a little bit of more clothing. If you guys are interested in that, comment below. Comment below what you think I should do next. If you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Love you guys, bye.